Hello, this is Veronica with Once Upon a Homeschooler and I'm here today to do another video review. This time I'm going to be doing Apologia as Exploring Creation with Astronomy 2nd Edition. I did have the 1st Edition and I kind of expected the 2nd Edition to be very, very similar, but it's not nearly as similar as I thought it was. So I'm going to go over some of the differences with you. This is a hardcover book. Um, and here in... It has about 200 pages if you don't count the appendices. Um, so 198 pages if you don't count the appendices. And I haven't found a lot about it online before I purchased it, which so it kind of makes me worried about it. So I checked the copyright page and there isn't very much here on it. I'm just gonna go over the parts of it with you. There are the textbook, which is this book here that I'm showing you right now. The regular and junior notebooking journals. I have the junior one here, which I will show you. I did not get the regular one. Um, as far as I can tell from what I've looked at, they are very similar, except the regular one has a lot smaller lines to write on, more writing spaces, and just a little bit more writing as expected um, on certain assignments. The audiobook, which I also did not get because we're just supplementing the science kit because I looked through all the materials and I couldn't justify the expense. And the field trip journal, which I didn't need because, again, we're just supplementing. The table of contents here shows that this is broken down into 14 units. And then we get right into the book. So it is broken down into units, and I will show you those in a minute. But this book here is more commercialized than it used to be. I really don't like commercialized things. Here's the um, junior notebooking journal. I'll show you one of my daughters. Um, I put a Corby sticker on it just for fun for her. But this is the notebooking journal, and in order to get the schedule, you have to purchase the notebooking journal. And the notebooking journal is color-coded So for the schedule. The um, textbook items will be in blue, or green, sorry, I don't know if you can see the colors here as much. I should probably turn on my flash, but I don't know how to do it here on this phone while the video is already running. And then I also have the um, blue areas, which are notebooking, and the brown, which are additional activities which kind of annoys me I'll show you why and they are also marked with this symbol so um, there's also different activities here and then over here they have the schedule for you and the schedule is color-coded just trying to see if I can get a better light on that and as you can see they put a lot of science apology as science kit activities which they do not put instructions for they do not put any information for for the Apology of Science Kit activities, so you can't do them on your own. You have to look them up or try to do them. Um, so that's another thing that's commercialized. They want you to spend a hundred and what is one hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars on the science kit um, just to get those activities um, on top. of There are some in the book, but in order to do everything that they suggest you do here on the schedule, you have to get the um, the science kit. And so they break each chapter up into a series of assignments. So, and like I said, you have to get the student notebook to get the schedule. And then over here, there is um, some, tells you the different parts that will be in the student book. So I'm just going to take you through a little bit. And also, I'm just going to show you the copyright page on this one really quick because I can't find much about the copyright page. You would think if there's not many videos online, they would say more about the copyright but there really isn't. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit in the book here. This is the textbook. This is what the parent reads. And of course, if you don't have a schedule, it makes it kind of hard to look and see what you're gonna read for each day, unless you wanna just kind of wing it on your own. So here on lesson one, I should show you what is astronomy. Um, and then here it tells you the thing, welcome, gives you some Bible verses, explains what astronomy and astronomers are. Um, I should turn back to this page here on the student guide. So here you should do the make a creation confirmation bookmark from the, the book. We already did that. My daughter tore it out, so I'm not going to show you that. Um, then you do this welcome part. Then you do this night sky part here. And there's a think about this with question or think thoughts, Bible verses and question. Then we're going to do the stars and planets which is the section here. And if you notice here, the section here has this blue swirl, which means there is an activity in the book, in the, no, on the science kit. And you see here in this, it does not tell you anything about what the activity is or what it could be. Over here, it does tell you, it's why do stars twinkle and planets do not, so you can try to look it up and make up your own if you want to. 
And then it also has you doing clocks, calendars, and seasons. So that's this next page here. And there's a lot of beautiful pictures. I don't know if this is really doing justice. This camera is not really doing justice to this. Um, but that's pretty much it for that part of the lesson. And then it just goes right into the next, the next daily assignment, which is navigation. But again, here, there is an activity that's make a sundial and it doesn't tell you any instructions on it. So if you're trying to follow this schedule and you're not, you don't have the science kit, you might find it very frustrating. Um, but it does tell you to do the creation confirmation, which we already tore out. And then the next day, I'm just going to show you some of these. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the book and then I'll take you through some of the workbook really quick. So the book is going to be pretty much all like this. Lots of color, um, different activities. So this is make your own mnemonic. That's also in the workbook. Um, just trying to show you some of the pages here. There's an activity of make your own model solar system. And it just says balloons of different sizes. This is in the science kit too. And they send you all the different size balloons. And there are some instructions here. But it really would be nice if they were a little more. They do tell you how big to blow up your balloon, but they don't tell you what size balloon to buy. So we just bought a um, $10 build your own solar system kit and use that instead. But, and then over here, there's some discussion questions and things like that. And then you're into the next lesson, which is the sun. The different things they cover in this book are, what is astronomy? I don't know if you can see this very well. The sun. I don't like these colors because they're hard on my eyes. This, this color coding thing. Mercury. Then there's Venus. Earth. The moon. Mars. Sorry. Where are we? Mars here. Okay. Space rocks. Jupiter. Saturn. Uranus. And then we have Neptune. The Keeper Belt and the Dwarf Planets, and then with stars, galaxies, and space travel. And as you can see, some of these sections are much longer than others. So it's kind of hard to break up the weeks evenly on your own, unless you're pretty good at just stopping, you know, after a certain amount of reading. And so that's why I thought the schedule would be helpful, but the schedule is really frustrating me more than anything else. Um, so basically, that's the book. And the whole book just basically has lots of color, lots of pictures and diagrams and different things so you can see and information um this book doesn't go quite as overboard about mentioning god in every single sentence or every single paragraph or multiple times per page um i like when books talk about god i don't like when they talk about god to the point where it interrupts what else you're trying to learn about um where they overdo it because we know that god is creating all of this and we want to learn about what god's creating but we don't need to be reminded every two sentences that God created it. We can talk about it once a page or once, twice a page. That's fine. I just don't like when they overdo it. And the first book did kind of overdo that a lot for us. But I'm just going to show you the notebook, which I do like if you don't count the schedule. Um, um, there is notebooking pages. My daughter obviously skipped this page. And I'm not going to show you a lot of this that she wrote on. Here's that activity where she wrote... As you can tell, this is my six-year-old's book, and she's not into writing right now at all, so her writing is pretty bad. She could have colored these, but she's not into coloring right now either. There's copy work, and as you can tell, you can see her um, dyslexia shining through and the not staying on the lines and the backwards letters and, and just trying to get through it quickly in the capital letters at all different kinds of places. And she did copy most of the words correctly, so I'm kind of proud of her for that, but... Um, and then on the back here, they have the same th copy work page, but it's in cursive. And then here, I'm just going to show you these activities we haven't gotten to yet. Um, they're going to make a little book with different pages here. And these pages go inside and they'll write some information on them and paste their book in here. So they have a little book to keep track of. There are crossword puzzles with, here's the clues. Um, here's when we build the model solar system. Um, we kind of did that out of order. We didn't. We just started the book, and we kind of did that out of order, so we haven't done this page yet. There's Take It Further, where you're supposed to write about all the stuff you did in your science kit. And then there are 
here's a scrapbook page for taking it further. Then there are coloring pages, which are quite beautiful, um, beautifully done. Hopefully my daughter will want to color them. Um, my eight year old is doing this with her and she will color them very beautifully, but, and then we went, we're on to the sun. And again, there's more notebooking pages. Um, write down what you learned, mini books. Um, there's another mini book with a rainbow and here's another mini book with a solar eclipse and so on and so forth. Um, vocabulary words, um, coloring pages for each chapter and so on and so forth. That's pretty much it. It's just going to kind of do the same kind of thing over and over with different mini books, different activities. So it looks fun and interesting. I'm not sure if my girls are going to like the amount of writing it has. Like I said, we just began. Um, so if you have any other questions, you can just let me know. Thank you and have a nice day.